wondering where Cubby Bear is. I haven't seen him in a while. So let's go ahead and try calling him and see if he comes out, okay? One, two, three. Cubby! Oh, hello, Katie. Um, we were hoping to have Cubby Bear come to talk to us today. Have you seen him? Yes, I have. Cubby, Timothy, and I were playing a game of catch with Timothy's friends, Mia and Will. Oh, that sounds like fun. It is. I love to play catch. I can catch the ball in my mouth when I jump high in the air. Let me show you my ball. Oh, wow. That's amazing, Katie. Thanks. And I have a new trick, too. I can hold the ball on my nose. That's a great trick, Katie. But I'm still wondering where Cubby is today. Well, after we played catch, we just decided to play hide and seek. I am really good at that game too. Mia began to count and the rest of us ran to hide. Timothy and Cubby ran to the woodshed to hide. Hmm, that sounds like a good spot to hide. It is, except that Timothy's dad saw that the woodshed door was open. He stopped mowing the grass and went over to the woodshed to close the door. Then he locked it. Oh no! Timothy and Cubby were inside? Yep. What did you do, Katie? Well, I started barking and chasing Timothy's dad while he was riding on the big lawnmower. I tried to get his attention, but he didn't hear me. Listen, I think I hear the lawnmower coming this way. Ark, ark! I need to get Timothy's dad so he can help Timothy and Cubby there. Oh, goodbye, boys and girls. Bye. Oh, I sure hope Cubby Bear and Timothy are okay. Well, we'll have to wait till next week to find out more. So. Before Jesus went to heaven, he told his, his disciples to tell the good news to everyone. And so, Cubbies, do you remember this good news? Well, the good news is that Jesus died for our sins and so that we can come alive again. And all those who trust in him will be saved from the punishment of sin and will be alive with Jesus forever in heaven. And so today you'll learn about how Paul and Silas spread the good news and their story in Bear Hug 25. Bye!